Hello Aquarius viewers. I'm sorry this video might be a little bit shorter than my usual ones, but I'll be back to my normal schedule on the 15th. As always, if you want a private reading, just email me. My email is below in the description box, right below this video. So you can just copy and paste it. The email is dragonenchantress at aol.com. So we've got, I'm damaged and I don't know how to open my heart again. I'm detached from the karmic. I'm planning out a way to finally end things with them. So there could have been like a messy divorce or like a, just some kind of third party situation or some kind of ex from the past that really damaged them. They haven't fully really healed from that yet. I'm waiting for you to give me a clear opening. I don't know how you feel. I want clarity and certainty before I reach out thought about going on vacation with you so it feels like this person has a lot of stress right now like they're they have like maybe like a busy schedule and I feel like they just want a break they just want alone time with you you know I'm afraid of getting hurt but I'm willing to take a leap of faith for you I just get the strong sense just channeling that this person it's, it's like you feel like they're safe space like they feel very open with you like they feel very um just vulnerable with you it's it's almost like they just dream about you and fantasize about you and they just it's like they feel alone around most people but they feel very close to you they don't feel you're one of the few people that they don't feel alone around is the energy that i get i want to be open honest and vulnerable i want to tell you my secrets okay i feel like this person just I feel like this person just went through something harsh or maybe they're just going through a phase where they're being called to do shadow work. Like maybe they just have a lot of um, past traumas, you know, especially when it comes to love and romance. Maybe they have a lot of past traumas that are resurfacing right now. You know, I've noticed that the new moon energy has been bringing that energy in for a lot of people. A lot of people are having their traumas come to the surface to be resolved Lots of people are ending old karmic cycles right now. And, you know, sometimes that's a beautiful thing. It's amazing. But sometimes it can get messy, you know. Real healing is, it's not always pretty. You know, it's its emotional. It's messy. Um, it's definitely not all love and light. You know what I mean? Like real healing can, you know, sometimes people have to go through a dark phase to, to come out on the other side and get through it. So it feels like this person is just kind of feels like they're kind of starting to break down. I just get a lot of emotion from them. Like they're just, they're going through a healing process is what I'm getting. And they really just want you there with them through that. There's no one like you. I realize now I will not be able to find a love like ours with somebody else. Sometimes I cry over you. Yeah, because I do get the energy. Like I feel like they're really going through a healing process. Like they're really crying right now. They're really emotional over you. They're very nostalgic. Like, I feel like this person might be going through a dark night of the soul. You know, because I feel like they've... I feel like they've either just come out of a bad relationship or they're just... Maybe they're being triggered for some reason. Some of them might be drinking or using substances and some of them might be kind of triggered. And, um... You know, thinking about the past is what I'm getting here. feel like I just feel that yeah I feel like they're they're in there I don't think they necessarily miss the ex I don't think they necessarily miss the karmic I think that it's more like there's just damage there from what happened with that like I think they maybe went through a lot of trauma regarding that situation not necessarily that um that they miss that person necessarily but just maybe this person abused them or cheated on them or really dragged them down. Maybe they were numb for a really long time and then, you know, you kind of triggered these feelings in them. And so now it's like they have a lot of work to do to get to where they want to be. But I feel like, you know, their love for you and this connection with you, it's like you've started a healing process in them. So they're more emotional and they're more vulnerable than they used to be. Because I just get them doing a lot of like healing work right now. Like they're really, they're really emotional. They're really sensitive right now. I do feel like they do cry over you sometimes. Some of them just, it's like they want you there, but they're so, 
vulnerable and sensitive right now that I feel like they don't know how to reach out because they feel like if you reject them, it's like they just can't really handle it right now. Like they're in kind of like a dark emotional place. Um, and they're just so fragile right now that I just feel like some of them feel like they can't reach out because it's like, you're, you know, the thought of you, it's, it's almost like a goal that they have. Like they want to get through this for you and with you. It's like they want to do the healing. They want to be a better person. You know, I want to be your hero, your warrior, your protector, your everything. You bring out that side of me. Like you really motivate them to, to be a better person, to do better, to be successful. But I just feel like some of them are, um, it's like they're holding on to that dream of you. It's like it's motivating them to make these, these major life changes. And I feel like, I just feel like so much nostalgia from them. And I just feel like, like if they reached out to you and you rejected them or if you had moved on, I just feel like it would devastate them, you know? So it's almost like they're not reaching out to you just because they want to hold on to that, you know, fantasy of you guys being, of you guys reconciling, of you guys, you know, being together, traveling together. Maybe you guys talked about traveling or, or going places together or like doing certain things and they want to they want to do those things with you and it's like they're holding on to that dream and that's what gets them out of bed in the morning that's what's keeping them motivated and they don't want to lose that hope and they feel like if they you know if they say the wrong thing or if you're just not in a place to be open to them anymore like you were before they feel like it would just devastate them so they're just kind of holding on to that dream of you while they go through this healing phase so, um, so if you guys do talk, please, please be kind of sensitive with this person. They are very fragile right now. Um, as always, if you want me to go more in depth into this, if you want me to look into your specific situation, just, you know, send me a message, just send me a, an email and I can do a private reading for you. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. I appreciate you guys so much. And I really appreciate any donations to my donation links are below. Thank you for watching.